Okay, so today's my birthday, and I'm on my way to go to church. No, I'm not skipping out on church just because it's my birthday. So glad that wasn't me, because I was speeding my butt off. Gotta fix my hair real quick. Okay, I just got out of church. Now I'm about to go meet up with my brother. He's taking me to go eat lunch for my birthday. Then he's gonna help me go search for apartments or some place to rent. Cause at this point, I desperately need to find some place to live. If I can, I'd much rather find a place to stay in Iuka rather than Corinth. Even though Iuka is a smaller town than Corinth, there's just a lot more to do. In Corinth, there's literally nothing to do. Nobody does anything. But with Iuka, you're not far from Pickwick. Uh, you've got the Tom Bigby Waterway, Tishomingo Park. There's all sorts of places to go. We even have this little honey hole we like to call Nommel. It used to be an old mining site, but they accidentally drilled into natural spring water and it filled up and it's just the clearest, most blue water. Eventually when it warms up, I plan to do a video out there. Even though it is private property, a lot of us still go out there. I know that's not the most Christian thing to do. That I'm at an all time. <laughs> Okay, so me and my brother decided to eat a cheap lunch. That way we could go ahead and look for some places for me to rent. Still didn't really have any luck though. But then my brother and his wife decided to treat me to a little meal at Outback, so we took a trip to Florence. We got there a little early, so we went and did a little bit of window shopping. And then we went to Outback and had a nice big meal. And my friend Sam has this catchphrase that he likes to use after he eats a meal. So Sammy, this one's for you. I'm as full as a fat tick on a lazy hound dog. I tried to eat somewhat healthy, but it didn't quite work out because our appetizer was nothing but fried food. And then, because it was my birthday, they brought me out ice cream. So I wasn't gonna say no to free food. I just gotta get back on track with my diet and working out first thing tomorrow. And there's nothing like an unhealthy meal or two that gets me motivated to get right back on track. I don't think I've really ever explained why it is I'm focusing so much on eating healthy and working out. So as some of y'all may already know, I am a Christian, and I full-heartedly believe in the Bible and trust the Lord with all my heart. But I go to a Baptist church, and I've been a Baptist all my life. And one thing Baptists, especially here in the South, are really known for is we like to have a lot of feasts. I mean, we eat all the time. And in the Bible, it says that you're not supposed to be gluttonous. So it's just something that the Lord has really put on my heart that I need to focus more on not uh, overindulging in food and work on staying in shape and just treating my body like a temple. Now that's nothing against anyone in my church or any other fellow Baptist. That's just something that God has really put on my heart. So it's something that I personally want to work on. I think everybody should be striving to grow closer to God because you can never be too close to God, okay? But sometimes it's a process and you gotta just allow God to work on your life and 
chisel away at the bad habits piece by piece little by little at a time and that's the thing guys it's gonna be a constant battle all the time none of us are perfect we're gonna make mistakes and that's just because we're human and we live in a sinful world we've got to get out of this mindset that it's just all about obedience and just following God's laws like a robot God wants more from us he wants true love with us and if you truly love God, then you'll want to do what he wants you to do. So the point that I want to get across, guys, is that if you don't know God, you need to get to know him. And if you already do know him, you need to sit back and just kind of analyze your life and think, do I really love him with all my heart? Am I showing in my daily life that I truly love him and give him the love that he deserves. Alright guys, that's all I got for tonight. I hope some of what I said might make an impact on someone. I hope this is something that y'all start thinking about because it is the number one decision you can make. Knowing God and being right with God is the all-time best decision you can make. But I'm getting ready to go to sleep, so I will see y'all next time guys.